the X-59 awaits. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to see NASA's newest X-plane? Great, me too. Well then let's see it. I'm sorry, you can keep looking at it, but I got a few more things to say. Behold, our stunning X-59. What a unique aircraft, and um, it, it's just incredible to see the ingenuity that went into it. As a test pilot, the first time I looked at the design, I went, huh, really had some questions about that. Lots of great time with the scientists and engineers at NASA, Lockheed Martin Skunk Works, and all our other industry partners and I was ready to go. In fact, I'm ready to climb in, but I won't do that, Nils, I promise. I think it's really also important to take a moment and talk about the uh, challenges of sonic booms accompanying supersonic flight. We talked a little bit about it, but this specialized aircraft is tackling it by engineering a specialized aircraft shape. What's most obvious right away is the long distinct nose, which comprise almost a third of that 99.7 foot length. So this design is really critical in dispersing shock waves, which today shocks are formed around the aircraft and then they merge together to give that boom. By designing it to disperse those, they never merge together and that's how they solved this problem, which is really incredible. And then to further enhance its quiet supersonic capabilities, you can see that cockpit is positioned almost halfway down the length of the aircraft. And as has already been brought out, uh, the forward facing window was getting in the way of keeping the aircraft quiet. And so that's why it has no forward facing window. It was a deliberate engineering decision from the X-59 team to make this aircraft quieter. But what's really interesting about that is we made that decision to make it quieter, but it's actually an important step forward in and of itself in advancing aviation technology while prioritizing the comfort of those on the ground. And huge challenge, right? Limited visibility in the cockpit. The team developed the external vision system, which is really a marvel of high resolution cameras feeding an ultra high resolution monitor. Beyond its immediate applications for the X-59, the external vision system has the potential to influence future aircraft designs where the absence of that forward facing window may prove advantageous for engineering reasons as it did for us. So it's creating capabilities we haven't felt comfortable about putting in a crewed flight vehicle without first testing it. So this groundbreaking technology is really a beacon guiding us towards a future where visibility barriers in aircraft design can be overcome with this inventive solution. But the X-59's innovation doesn't end there. We also designed special features into the airplane, such as its top mounted engine with a deck under the nozzle, which ensures that the shock waves don't merge behind the aircraft and create that disruptive shock below. This isn't just an airplane, this is an X-plane. 
It's a manifestation of a collaborative genius. And as Bob Pierce noted earlier, the culmination of decades of scientific exploration around the sonic boom. I'm really personally thrilled about this engineering marvel taking flight. And as we embark on this journey, let's celebrate the X-59 as a symbol of progress and a herald of quieter supersonic travel, which will bring us closer together as humans faster. Thank you and please join me in welcoming NASA's Associate Administrator, Jim Free. Thank you, Pam. Good afternoon. I, I try and learn every day, and I learned a long time ago, don't follow an astronaut. Now I learned don't follow your boss, and now it's don't follow the unveil of a new X-plane. So I'll put stow that one away. Thanks so much for allowing us to be here, and, and uh, welcome certainly to all the distinguished guests here today, and the most distinguished guests, the team that worked on, on the X-59 from both uh, NASA and Lockheed Martin. NASA is committed to aeronautics innovation. Our X-Plane investments show this commitment completely. It's exciting to see an X-Plane in person, really is for a space guy. The X-59 is joining a long line of NASA experimental aircraft used to validate breakthroughs that change aviation forever. Even among other X-Planes, the X-59 is special. Every aircraft that receives that X-Plane designation has a specific purpose to test new technologies or aerodynamic concepts. These special planes push the envelope of what's possible in flight. And once they prove those concepts, they often go into museums. And that's really what makes the X-59 different. Once we evaluate its ability to produce those sonic thumps, its work will just be getting started. This plane will spend years traveling around the country to conduct community overflights. After its first test flights, the Quest mission team will expand by thousands of U.S. residents very soon. The people we're relying on to give us honest, unbiased feedback on the X-59's noise will be the key to getting the data we need for the mission to be a success. Now my favorite part. I want to focus on the dedicated group of people whose innovative work has made the X-59 possible. Some of the brightest minds from NASA and Lockheed Martin Skunk Works make up this team. Aerospace engineers, mechanical engineers, electrical engineers, technicians, pilots, support staff, creative types, and so many more people whose hard work brought us to today. Thank you for every single moment, every single effort, and I'd like to take a moment and ask that all of you give them a round of applause. This team is the personification of perseverance. In addition to the challenge of designing, building, and integrating a brand new, one-of-a-kind X-Plane, which they've met, this team overcame these obstacles during a global pandemic to bring us to the cusp of expanding our horizons into a new era of flight. This is such an exciting time in aviation. NASA is glad to lead this historic mission through Bob Pierce and our Aeronautics Research Mission Directorate. Our innovators worked with the skilled team at Skunk Works to complete the build of this X-Plane. Their work has been critical to the continued success of the mission. Entire careers, we are talking decades of people's lives focused on supersonic research have gotten us here today. This team is continuing to build on the legacy of aeronautical research and also advance the research with different aircraft shaping like that of the X-59. Across all its aeronautics missions, NASA researches and innovates alongside with and in collaboration with our industry partners. Those partnerships allow NASA to create new technologies, new aircraft, new airspace designs and operations and they will help us develop community integration solutions that will make aviation more sustainable and integrated into our communi communities in ways that support U.S. economic growth and benefit the public with new and innovative transportation options. My sincere thanks to the team who have brought us this commencement, to the teams who will conduct the, these flights, to the teams who will collect and analyze the data, and to the American public who will become part of this mission. Thank you.
Thank you, Deputy Administrator Melroy and Associate Administrator Free. For those of you that aren't an engineer, that are listening to this on live stream, or you're in this room, let me just break this down for you. I weigh 240 pounds. If I were to jump off of this stage, land in a pool, 25 feet back, seven rows of live human beings would get wet when I cannonball into the water. That is currently aviation as we know it. What the X-59 does is it is a US Olympic diver that you are gonna see in Paris this summer. And when you see that diver go into the water, there's barely a ripple. That's what this does when it goes 900 miles an hour across the sky, it will barely make a ripple. So I know we all wanna get a closer look at this incredible aircraft, but first I'd like to acknowledge one of our public servants who works to make projects like this possible for the American people. Please help me welcome Governor's Senior Economic Advisor, Ms. Dee Dee Myers. Thank you, Eric. Uh, and let me just say, uh, Deputy Administrator Melroy, Associate Administrator Free, Colonel Caspers, Greg Ulmer, John Clark, on behalf of Governor Newsom and the people of California, welcome home. Uh, it's good to have you here. Uh, and let me just say, uh, it's especially uh, great for me to be here as my dad worked at Lockheed, including at the Skunk Works, uh, directing the reconnaissance programs in the 80s and 90s. So uh, on behalf of him, who still follows all this closely, who still has Skunk uh, logo and merch, uh, and still considers himself part of the team, again, it's, it's wonderful to be here. And it's also a point of deep pride and personal privilege for those of us in California, because NASA's partnership with California is so important. It's larger than the partnership with any other state, and it, and it brings tremendous benefits to our communities. An economic impact of $15 billion a year, over 1,800 proud NASA employees and nearly 3,400 contractors and supply chain workers for a combined direct and indirect job force of 66,000 people here in our state, and more than $742 million a year in revenue. And if you've been following our travails, uh, budget travails this week, you know how important that is. So uh, to NASA, we simply say, thank you for the business, thank you for your trust, and thank you for this great and ongoing partnership. Uh, as Senator Bill Nelson says, NASA gets things done. Things that inspire us, things that unite us, things that show nothing is beyond our reach. And this project certainly demonstrates that, the X-59. And we're just getting started in terms of the scientific benefits that this program will unlock. The X-59 is the first and only quiet supersonic aircraft in the world, which we've heard a lot about today. And no one should be surprised that it was conceived, engineered, and built by artisans here in California, because this is ground zero, not just in the country, but in the world for innovation uh, and exploration. We're very proud of that here. So true to that legacy, the X-59 will push the boundaries of aerospace, advancing the future of commercial aviation. If you wanna dream big, and create something that's never been created or seen before, you come to the Skunk Works, you come to NASA, and you come to California. Yeah. Our NASA partnership uh, dates back to Downey, California and the Apollo project in 1960. So it's a long and proud relationship. And the X-59 is just the latest chapter in our innovation story that always starts with the audacious declaration, we can do that, right? We can prove supersonic flight without sonic booms. That is such an exciting beginning. And now here we are once again, inventing the future and inspiring another generation of science lovers, science geeks, and STEM students all across the country to dream big. And we know those dreams will change the future and the face of aviation. It'll captivate, motivate, and educate communities all over the country about what's possible, including 
time travel, sort of, right? It, it, it will be able, you'll be able to take off in New York City, fly 925 miles per hour, as Eric noted, and land 30 minutes before you take off on the New York LA route. So it's not exactly time travel, but it's still pretty cool to think about for those of us who travel back and forth all the time. So we know that somewhere, Chuck Yeager and Kelly Johnson, two heroes in my household growing up, they're smiling at the legacy that they have uh, created and left and the inspiration that they still give us. Because it's another incredible milestone for NASA, for the Skunk Works, for Lockheed Martin, and for our partnership here in California. So we could not be more excited, we could not be more grateful to making history with you all again, and what could be better than that? So thank you all for being here today and having me. Thank you. Thank you, Dee Dee. Please join me in welcoming back to the stage, John Clark for some closing remarks. As we close out today's ceremony, I'd like to thank all of you, especially our distinguished guests, and for all of you that have attended virtually. On a personal level, this airplane represents an opportunity to take half of my week and make it more productive. I wish I had it 25 years ago. I literally spend about a day a week on an airplane, and it would be great to have something like this. And, and the people that will secede, all of us, hopefully are gonna have that opportunity, say 2032, 2035. Um, and there's gonna, a lot of be, gonna be a lot of opportunity in the future to drive new innovations with new commercial transport airplanes based on the technology we're creating here. The X-59's future is bright, and that's all due to the individuals on this team. And I specifically wanna call out my Skunk Works team and thank you for all the hard work and dedication that you've put into this. And to the NASA team, I really genuinely appreciate the partnership. The collaboration to make this all happen is very meaningful. Thank you.